In this video, I'll take you through my full process of creating a digital product that went on to be one of my best sellers. You'll see how I developed it, prepared it for sale, and if you stay to the end, I'll share exactly how much it made. I know I want to create a set of digital textures, but I'm still deciding what medium I want to create them in. And whenever I'm struggling with the art supplies I have, there's something I can do that seems to always do the trick. Let's go shopping. I decided to pick up some concentrated watercolors this time. I'd like to see how they compare to a regular pan set, and I also wanted to see how adding water-soluble crayons to my textures would look, so I picked those up too. Here comes my favorite part. I get to be messy, embrace my lack of direction, and see where the colors and the supplies lead me. The vibrancies of these textures is definitely going to stand out. I practice mark making, blending materials together, and brainstorming as I work how I would use what I'm making in a digital environment. I always scan my textures at 600 dpi to pick up as much detail as possible. And I've got a little trick I'll share with you, so you can deliver your textures at a bigger size than they're scanned at. If you cut the 600 dpi resolution in half, you can actually double the size. The standard print resolution is 300 dpi, so it works perfectly. While I'm in Photoshop, I'll cut out the white background, save the images as transparent PNGs, and organize them into a folder for buyers. I'll also create some eye candy preview images using mockups so buyers can instantly get an idea of all the cool ways they can use these textures. I'm going to upload the set to Gumroad, so I'll upload the files, name the product, add the preview, type the description, and post the price. Hit publish, and we're live. I'll promote this item on social media and create several YouTube videos showing how this item can help buyers create beautiful designs. I'll continue making these videos and showing the versatility of the product months and years after it's been published. A lot of videos about digital products throughout these really big numbers, but they fail to mention what the net profit is after processing fees and costs, or the time period that those numbers happen in. So let's keep things super real right here and go over the analytics of this product. I made two licenses for this product, a personal license that I sold for $10 and an extended commercial license that I sold for $40. I sold this item on both Gumroad and Creative Market, but whenever I promoted the item, I always sent potential buyers to the Gumroad link because I made a higher commission there. I made 34,856 of that on Gumroad and 2,359 of that on Creative Market. Lifetime sales from when I published this one set in 2016 until now is $37,215. And that's a net profit, meaning after commissions and processing fees. Now let's break these numbers down by year. In 2016, the year that it was published, I made $4,009 on it. I continued promoting the item in 2017 and it did $8,410 that year. In 2018, a few of my YouTube videos that used the textures had above average views, which led to more sales. I made $10,092 that year on this product alone. And then from 2019 to 2024, I made an additional $14,703 on it. A lot of creatives tend to publish a brand new product and then move immediately on to their next one. But if this product taught me anything, it was the importance of continuing to promote it even years after it had been published. You really never know what can happen. If you'd like to see what the final watercolor texture kit looks like, I'll leave a link to it right beneath the like button. And if you'd like to learn more about the best places to sell digital products this year, then you'll want to check out this video. And I'll see you next week.